All right, so I'm going to give you an update on my life right now. And, um, well, first of all, that is an oxygen tank behind me because my mom has just been put on oxygen. And uh, Grandma's coming home on Saturday. Um, for you who may have been following along, she's 99 years old, broke her shoulder last month, and has been in a rehab facility. She is barely walking and we're going to bring her home with no health aid because we can't afford one and my mom and my aunt are going to be her primary caregivers they are losing their shit because they're in their 70s and not in good health in the first place obviously my mom's in oxygen she just got that yesterday did she use it last night like she was supposed to no she did not am i going to cry about it no i am not am i going to laugh about it yeah probably because life is too fucking absurd not to I was, I'm doing, uh, I've got to go get ready to do a double. Working seven shifts this week, seven shifts next week, and then going to abruptly be dropped down two, three nights or shifts a week after Labor Day weekend because that's how things roll around here. Am I going to cry about it? I don't know. I might. And, um, oh yeah. So on top of all this, my stepdad is now in a rehab facility also with a severe bone infection. The man is in his late 80s. He had COVID a few weeks ago on top of a severe heart condition. He is about 400 pounds and developed gout, which then turned into a bone infection in his toe, which traveled up into his knee. And so he can't walk now and is in a rehab facility. He may come home at some point, may not. He might die in there. Am I going to cry about it? I probably am going to react incredibly inappropriately. And I'm probably going to laugh about it. I'm probably going to dance and sing about all of this fucking shit. Because I think I snapped. I also found out recently from my therapist that the reason I didn't get a job that I had applied for back in the early part of this summer. because, Or actually early part of this year. Because I felt like I should be having a real job in a municipality is because of my social media. Because of what I post on Facebook and Instagram. Because I say fuck off a lot and fuck you. And I use fuck off on a regular basis. And I'm too opinionated. And I'm too brass. And I'm too this and I'm too that. And I speak my mind. And guess what? I am an abuse survivor. I was molested as a child and I closed my mouth and shut my mouth for decades and I finally found my voice after lots of trauma recently in recent years I've had a lot of trauma my the love of my life died my dad died seven months later and my world has been falling apart on a regular basis and so yeah I kind of just stopped not saying things and I started saying things and I am politically outspoken and I am socially outspoken because I have been silenced for my entire life and I've kept it in and guess what now the floodgates opened and I am just saying whatever comes to my mind and I'm I guess what maybe it's a good thing I didn't get that job and maybe that's not the jobs that I want to get. That somebody's going to troll my social media to look and see what kind of a person I am. And I'm such a bad person because I just put it out there. Well, fuck you. I guess I don't want those jobs anyway. And if, if I guess I, I don't even know. I guess I just have to create something where everybody's going to be okay with me, with who I am. Just because I'm a... I lay it on the line and I am opinionated and I say fuck off and fuck you. God forbid I do those things because I know I'm a really good fucking person. I animal rescue. I be nice to people. I don't steal. I don't cheat. I just happen to have opinions and I happen to put things out there and I happen to be me. After not having been able to be me, for all my life, I've had to try and conform and and be who people would accept and who I people would like. And guess what? I guess I don't really care anymore if people like me or people accept me or people fucking hire me because I say fuck off. 
And I was told that I should de delete my social media. It's my only fucking outlet. It's my only fucking outlet. And I thought about this and I said to my therapist, yeah, I guess I should probably delete all of this stuff. And then what? Go back into hiding? Go back into hiding and conforming and being not me anymore? And I said I wasn't going to cry. And I'm not going to cry. And I should just be laughing. And I'm going to be laughing and dancing. And I'm going to find my niche. And I'm going to find the place that's going to accept me for me. And whether that's in some sort of creative outlet of some sort. But I don't want to be a conformist anymore. I conformed enough. I conformed enough. Okay? So that's what I have to say today. And that noise that you're hearing is not my belly this time. It's the dog snoring on my lap because nobody else is home and they've decided that they're going to sleep with me for a while. I have to go get ready now, but um, I will... If you see me out, I'm going to be laughing and joking and dancing despite all this fucking madness going on all around me. My mom being on oxygen, my grandma coming home, the cat that died that we replaced in, because that's insanity too. And um, I'm a hot mess, I'm a train wreck, and yet, I'm trying to keep it together and God forbid I do that and God forbid I use social media as an outlet to do that and if somebody doesn't like me for it and if I don't get hired for it and if I don't have that type of job that I'm supposed to have oh well I'll just go fucking sell feet pictures or something I don't know I'll figure it out. I always do. I'm learned since the day I started being abused as a child that I will land on my feet because that's what I do. I learned how to be a survivor real early. And now <laughs> the dog is coughing again and I don't know, choking on her. Oh my God. You can't make this up. This is my life. Anyway. I'm not going to apologize and I'm not going to change. And, and I decided I'm just not, I'm not, I'm going to have my political views. I'm going to have my social views and I'm going to keep putting it out there. And, um, and you know what? Those, the person that didn't hire me because you trolled my social media and didn't like it and didn't like that I say fuck off and fuck you and have opinions that are strong and maybe in contrast with other people's opinions your loss because I am fucking amazing I'm one of the hardest workers you'll ever find and I am one of the most efficient people you'll ever find and it's your loss and I don't even care if people are going to have opinions about me because I feel and say some sort of way and some sort of thing. I'm going to keep being me because I finally found my fucking voice. And I'm going to keep saying it. I'm going to keep doing it. I'm going to keep being it. And I didn't use a filter because I saw somebody making fun of older elderly people, whatever, Gen Xers using filters because they're hiding themselves. Guess what? This is me without a filter. I just woke up. And if you don't like it, fuck off too. Have a great day, everybody. Be you. Go out, laugh, have fun, sing, dance. And while the world is on fire and everything is fucking falling down around you, including yourself and your loved ones, find your voice, find your laughter, find your so song and your dance, and stop not being you. And don't fucking conform. Peace out. Have a good day.